welcome to Tuesday Night War TNW. Hello everyone, I'm your commentator MJ. We're coming alive all the way from San Diego, California for the TN for TNW Tuesday Night War as we are a few more nights away from the big event TNW War at Christmas, our final pay-per-view event of the year. No doubt about it, before leading into our final episode of TNW next week, because we already know that we were told from the floor, GHP granted, got, a got his rematch clause announced for the TNW International World Heavyweight Championship, and we're being told the match he wanted was a TLC match against the winner between CM Punk and AJ Styles. Well, TLC can only mean one thing. Tables, ladders, and chairs, oh my. It really doesn't matter to GHP. He wants his gold back. He'll get it next week. But right now, though, who's Wade Barrett's partner? Well, Wade Barrett. Those knocks can only mean one thing. It's not Goldberg. It's Grado. Grado officially signed over to the TNW roster. He must have got a flight from Nashville to get this, get here in San Diego for this big time opportunity. Grado officially signed over to the TNW roster. How fitting for this young man. Former ACW World Heavyweight Champion is now a part of the TNW roster. What a signing. What big headline news for TNW tonight. Yeah, well though folks, things really intensified enough earlier when Beldizar was out here earlier tonight, made a statement known to both Jay Reigns and Shadow Fiend that he will be, he will try to fulfill his dream and be the only Beyblader in history to win the TNW World Heavyweight Championship. Yeah, well right now though, folks, for Beldizar, he's got to go through two tough competition competitors to date in the form of Shadow Fiend and the two-time TNW World Heavyweight Champion, Jay Reigns. And don't forget, Shadow Fiend is a 15-time World Heavyweight Champion. Yeah, but think about what this could mean for Shadow Fiend. If he can win the TNW World Heavyweight title, he can end up as a 16-time World Champion. Well, if he does, then he'll meet the winner of whoever wins the HWF World Heavyweight title in the Triple Threat Elimination Match. Yeah, either Sabu, Batman, or even Monkey D. Luffy. It won't matter to any combatant, any combatant to date coming up this Friday night. Because don't forget, war at Christmas may be a war zone, but it's the most wonderful time of the year here on TNW. Yeah, no doubt about it, TNW. These fans here in San Diego getting their money's worth as they are prepared for later on tonight in our main event. The Rage in a Cage match between Dominic Mysterio and Rey Mysterio. Yeah, well, the Mysterios had their issues, but it may come to an end later on tonight. Let's just pray and hope so. Uh-oh. Here come the OC, Luke Gallows, and Carl Anderson, the Good Brothers. Not that bad. Here they come. The TNW Tag Team Champions. Right now, though, I think we may see some fireworks, and I may have spoken too soon. Bombs away. Here comes the OC. No doubt about it. Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson, original members of the Bullet Club, no less, with AJ Styles, and more importantly, Finn Balor. Yeah, well, Finn Balor turned their backs on them after launching the Judgment Day on the HWF. And then came here to TNW, no less. Well, speaking of Finn Balor, Dominic was out here once again talking more trash to his Hall of Fame daddy before what is to come later on tonight. Yeah, that was until Cool 412 came out. And he was laughing his socks off at Dominic. And, well, more importantly, though, Dominic even disrespected Cool 412 even more until Cool 412 realizing it was so sweet of him to talk more trash, but however, he will not he will not ban the Judgment Day from ringside, but he will ban them from the entire arena. And and the security got involved. Finn Balor, Damian Priest, thrown out of the arena. 
Leads on the following contest is a Tornado Tag Team match goes for one fall, and it's for the TNW Tag Team Championships. Introducing the challengers. At a combined weight, 481 pounds, Wade Barrett and Greedo! And their opponents, at a combined weight, 500 and five pounds. They are the TNW Tag Team Champions, Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson, the O.C. Well, what a standing ovation for the O.C. Well, this is gonna be an impactful war zone. Doing the TNW Tag Team Championships on the line here. And those tag titles have so much prestige already. And with a big TNW history. Well, that bad they debuted it since 2017. Its first ever champions were Quilt 412 and Leon Hader. And already a TNW Hall of Famer, no less. No doubt about it. And here we go, Grado and Wade Barrett teaming up here for the first time ever. Grado from Scotland. Wade Barrett from London, England. Well, lately from Blackpool, England, actually. And this is a dream team, no less. But Wade Barrett, formerly known as Bad News Barrett. I'm afraid I got some bad news, as he always said. <laughs> and right now, though, Anderson with a snap suplex on Grado. Wade Barrett down. And Gallows going right after Wade Barrett, trying to go after Grado in the early goings. Grado landing on his feet. Well, what a counter from Grado. Knife edge chop and Anderson trying to tell him, come on, kid. Come on. This is your big time moment here at TNW. Don't let the fans down. I think Carl Anderson's trying to get inside Grado's head. It's only worked for a moment there as Grado nailed the cross body. Wade Barrett rolling out to the floor. And Gallows. Oh my God. What a maneuver off the top rope from Gallows. Hitting Grado in the face. And yeah, what a shot from Gallows to, to Grado. Big, big boot by Wade Barrett. And right now, though, folks, this matchup is still going on with a lot of heart and soul on the line here on TNW. And these fans here in San Diego are loving it. Yep, though, folks. This is TNW. Tuesday Night War at its best. Grado jumping over the top rope. And right now, though, Gallows picking up Grado. Power slam. And Wade Barrett with a clothesline. As I was saying, though, folks. The fans were lap the fans were happy to hear the news that judgment half a judgment day are barred from the entire arena once again. As the security came out, Rhea Ripley and Dominic were, were left off the hook. The only two that got ejected from, from the arena were none other than Finn Balor and Damian Priest. Yeah, well Damian and Finn are out of here. Which means Rhea Ripley has to fight. We're back live here, folks. I had to apologize. We had to take a break. And it looked like Grado's all alone in that ring in hostile waters as Wade Barrett's back in the ring. Yeah, well, right now, though, folks, we know that, as I was trying to say earlier before we went to break, looks like Rhea Ripley has to do this one on her own with Balor and Damian Priest out of the arena. And it looks like Rhea Ripley is all alone in hostile waters, and so is Dominic. Well, this ought to be good news for Rey Mysterio. All right now though, Gallows two and a choke bomb on Wade Barrett. Cover of the match is that it? And get Grado saving the opportunity for him and Wade Barrett alive. Yeah, well don't forget Wade Barrett was part of TNW in 2012. Made so many moments. Former member of the United Kingdom alongside Sheamus, William Regal, and most of all. Including Drew McIntyre, no less. Yeah, no doubt about it. That was a big time moment. Wade Barrett with that pump handle slam. Cover of the match. New champions, too. No. Wade Barrett was close. I thought for sure we had new TNW Tag Team Champions. And Gallows back to his feet, rolling out to the floor there. Laying on his feet. Days has no idea what's going on. And Grado aiming right for that leg of Anderson. Well, Gallows comes in from behind with a headbutt. And look at Gallows fighting off Grado and Wade Barrett by himself. And there's the two sweet sign. Well, the fans in Toronto were not happy after AJ Styles won the TNW International World Heavyweight title late last week. 
during the GWE One Night Stand show. But the fans are going to get their money's worth. And the fans in Toronto make it a big show coming up next week in our final TNW paper during our final TNW episode of the year before leading into 2024. And this is one way to close out 2023 thus far here in December. Yeah, no doubt about it. Wade Barrett has got Gallows up. Look at the power. Look at the strength. Wasteland on Gallows. Cover new champions? No. Anderson saving that one. Caught Wade Barrett with a big boot. Grado jumping over the top rope here. And Grado from behind. And Gallows from behind on Barrett. Got him into a headlock and a big right hand. And Barrett is down. And now Grado looking for something there on Anderson. Anderson prevented that one. And wait a minute. Gallows walking over Wade Barrett like a welcome mat. And oh my god, Grado slamming Anderson spine first off the barricade. Yeah, well don't forget, this is, there's not going to be one Rage in a Cage match. There's two of them. Because coming up later on in our third match, Hellfire Club. Alongside the Street Profits. Knowing the TNW ECW World United States Tag Team titles on the line. Are going to be locked inside Rage in a Cage. But since this is Tornado Tag Team rules for those titles, we're being told that the, that matchup has to only end by escape. But luckily, by escape, anything could happen. You think? Anderson back in the ring, while Wade Barrett and Grado go right after the big man. Smart move by the challengers. Go right after the big guy. Take him down before going after the little one in the form of Carl Anderson. Yeah, no doubt about it here. CM Punk is watching this backstage. I'm being told from my headset. And he's got to be loving this, you think? He's laughing his socks off back there, seeing his old friend Luke Gallows fighting for everything he's got. You know that about it. Grado, baseball slide to the outside, and Anderson from behind. And a high end back in Vertic Atomic Drop. Drop kick right to the head. And now the OC, the former members of the Bullet Club, going after Grado. Yeah, well, Gallows has Wade Barrett to himself. Super kick to the gut by Barrett. And another kick. What kicks from Wade Barrett? Snap suplex by Anderson. And Grado. Already in trouble. Oh, boy, here we go. New champions. Is that it, too? No. And Wade Barrett arguing the referee. Saying that was a three count. Referee said no. That was a two count. And a clothesline from behind. Our timekeeper and ring announcer are getting out of harm's way there. And a big shot from Barrett. The cover. Could they do it? Two. We had a new TNW Tag Team Champions. Well, history has been made tonight. My God. What a match. Here are your winners and the new TNW Tag Team Champions, Wade Barrett and Grado. Grado and Wade Barrett walking out of San Diego with the tag team titles. Wade Barrett finally won his first TNW Championship. He's never won a TNW Championship with the United Kingdom, but he finally did it tonight. I don't know that about it. What a win. But right now, though, folks, stick around. We're not through yet. Coming up next, TNW will take team titles on the line. The Behan clan, Cool 412, and Kyle Behan put their championships on the line. Apparently, we're being told it's an open challenge to anybody from TNW, ACW, and HWF that want to shot the, the World Tag Team titles. Oh, that matchup is huge, and it's live, and it's next. And we're back live in San Diego, and I know who that is. It's Andre Chase, former ACW Next Generation Champion, is officially signed over to the TNW roster. Well, welcome to TNW, Mr. Andre Chase. Well, he made history in that dream match with Jimmy Hopkins all those months ago, pulled off amazing title defenses, and lost to Bad Bunny. And will Bad Bunny sign over to the HWF roster yeah, but who is Andre Chase's partner 
knowing this open challenge for the World Tag Team titles is on the line here. Not a bad right before the big, huge Rage in a Cage match between Hellfire Club's own Rick Boogs and Eddie Munson. And of course, the champions, the Street Profits, Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford. Yeah, well, Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins beat the heck out of Hellfire Club two times in a row. Can they make it their third, their third win in a row? Or will Hellfire Club reverse the jinx tonight? Well, we're going to find out right here and now because... Oh, my goodness! It's John Moxley! John Moxley! Former ACW Next Generation Champion and a former ACW World Heavyweight Champion. Well, welcome to TNW, Mr. Mox. Well, how about it, Moxley? Looks like sign up the TNW dotted line and welcome to TNW, John Moxley. Well, John Moxley is here on TNW. What a signing. Well, how about it? John Moxley, a former multiple time AEW World Heavyweight Champion. And most of all, John Moxley has formed his own tag team last I checked outside of TNW. No doubt about it here as Moxley alongside Andre Chase going to give it their all tonight. And the Chase U chance beginning here in San Diego, here in California, as we wait for the arrival of the champions. Well, John Moxley. Uh oh! Here comes Colt 412 and his brother, Kyle Behan. Here come the brothers. And already the most dominant tag team in TNW history. They had their war with the Judgment Day for the past few months, not since back in the summer. And no doubt about it, their rivalry still culminates. And that rivalry between the Behan clan and the Judgment Day, knowing it all started between Cool 412 and Dominic Mysterio. And that's gonna come to an end this Friday night. Well, the Behan clan ought to be a little confident knowing that Finn Balor and Damian Priest are bent from the entire arena tonight here in San Diego, California. Yeah, no doubt about it. This is where Cool 412 made the announcement known earlier tonight, banning the entire Judgment Day not the entire Judgment Day, but just Finn Balor and Damian Priest out of the arena. Yeah, but Rhea Ripley is going to be in action coming up later on. Right after the Tornado Tag Team Rage in a Cage match between Hellfire Club and the Street Profits. But right now though, folks, we take it our ring announcer for the introductions between the challengers and the champions. Just what a full of surprises TNW has become thus far tonight. The following contest is a Tornado Tag Team match scheduled for a one fall, and it's for the TNW World Tag Team Championships. Introducing the challengers at a combined weight, 452 pounds, Andre Chase and John Moxley. And their opponents at a combined weight, 400 and 70 pounds. They are the TNW World Tag Team Champions. Cool 412 and Kyle Behan, the Behan Clan. What an ovation here in San Diego. And these fans in California are loving this. Yeah, no doubt about it. The fans in Toronto ought to be at home watching this live. And all of our great fans around the world have got to be loving this. Yeah, no doubt about it. And here we go, referee calls the bell, and this one's underway. Here we go! Right now, though, for John Moxley, this is the rematch of the century for him and the brothers. Well, he faced off against Kyle Behan. Kyle Behan lost. But right now, though, Cool 412 and Moxley are going at it. Well, John Moxley's been through so much in his career. Had a war with Nick Gage. Had that pizza, had that pizza cutter right on his forehead. And he thought he lost his tongue, but thank goodness he didn't. Yeah, no doubt about it. And Andre Chase took advantage of a confident Kyle Behan. 
And it looks like the, the college professor of Chase U just got taken down there. Referee with a, with, with a count there. Only gets a one count. Cool 412 made the cover up that front suplex slam on Andre Chase. Yeah, well, the challengers are dominating this fight. Thus far, the, the OC have lost the TNW Tag Team Championships in a big-time field, knowing Wade Barrett and Grado just won the championships. Dangerously low blow by Andre Chase and John Moxley with a kick right to the gut. There's a snapmare off the ropes. Looking for a big boot, but Andre Chase interrupted it. Quote for 12 think a chop block, but Moxley saw it coming. Andre Chase sending Kyle Behan off the ropes. Lutez press by the college professor of Chase U. Yeah, no doubt about it. Moxley with a big slam. Oh, and Andre Chase got too confident there. Kyle going to work. Look at the power. Look at the strength. And Quilt 412 kicked out at one. Moxley was close. John Moxley making his TNW in-ring return. Last time we saw him was known as Dean Ambrose with the shield with Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns. A big time combination force. Not that bad, this is John Moxley's TNW in-ring return. Not that bad, the man formerly known as Dean Ambrose. And right now though, Cool 412 pummeling John Moxley. And right now, they're trying to send a message back to Dominic tenfold. I'll see you in one in a few nights from now, kid. And a pump handle slam from Kyle, taking Andre Chase down. And the brothers having their fun. And not that bad a swing and neck breaker on Andre Chase. Cool 412 saw it coming. Oh, well, Moxley didn't see this one coming though. Good red slam on John Moxley. 412 with the cover, is that it? No, Moxley kicking out at one. Yeah, well, Mox, welcome back to TNW, sir. And a spear from Kyle to Andre Chase. Riffrey there. What the heck, I don't know. I think Andre Chase must have kicked out or something. But Kyle and Andre Chase are fighting on the outside while John Moxley and Quilt 412 are fighting in the ring. Well, for a big splash off the corner, it looked like there, but Moxley was countering that one. And a double arm, arm drag slam. That was like a reverse version of the front suplex slam. Cover new champions? No. Kick out at two. 412 back to his feet. Moxley! Paradigm shift! Paradigm shift on Cool 412. The cover! Is that it? New champions? No. Cool 412 kicked out at two and a half. I thought for sure we had new TNW World Tag Team Champions. And a pile driver from John Moxley paying homage to Terry Funk. Moxley from the second rope. Elbow drop and 412 moved out of the way. Picking him up here. Headlock into a right hand. Pummeling Moxley right on his spine. And a tiger bomb on the outside. Andre chasing Kyle Behan fighting. Boulder for 12 stunner. Boulder for 12 stunner on John Moxley. The cover. And the Behan clan victorious. If that's the, if Cool 412 hits that on Dominic, that could end the war right there. My gosh, what a match. Here are your winners, and still, TNW World Tag Team Champions, Cool 412 and Kyle Behan, the Behan Clan. And it looks like an amazing matchup. The brothers walking out of San Diego, California with the gold. Don't have about it, folks. And we're not through yet. Coming up next, Tornado Tag Team Action, our final Tornado Tag Team Match of the night. The Street Profits. Take it on the challengers, helped by our club's own Eddie Munson, and of course, Rick Boogs, locked inside, raging a cage. Well, that matchup is huge, and it's live, and it's next.